Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. Slovenia deploys police on borders with Croatia, Hungary. Thawing U.S.-Venezuela relations raise hope for prisoner releases. Slovenia deploys police on borders with Croatia, Hungary. Reuters. Slovenia has deployed police on its borders with Croatia and Hungary to prevent potential security threats, causing queues for travelers as their documents are checked. The Slovenian government made the decision to introduce temporary border controls until October 30, following Italy's decision to introduce controls on its border with Slovenia. Police have been deployed on 14 of the border crossings, with the remaining 18 crossings not having a permanent police presence. The government stated that the controls were necessary due to security threats from members of various terrorist and extremist movements and groups and a rise in organized crime in the Western Balkans. Thawing U.S.-Venezuela relations raise hope for prisoner releases. Wall Street Journal. The U.S. is hoping to secure the release of several Americans who have been wrongfully detained in Venezuela as part of a new diplomatic opening between the Biden administration and the regime of President Nicolas Maduro. The State Department has said it expects the release of some of the Venezuelan political prisoners, as well as some of the eight Americans currently jailed in the country, by the end of November. Of the eight Americans, three are considered to be wrongfully detained, while the circumstances surrounding the arrests of the other five remain unclear. The announcement comes after the U.S. suspended economic sanctions against Venezuela for a six-month period. The U.S. has previously secured the release of Americans held by Venezuela, including in a 2020 prisoner swap. The detention of Americans by the Venezuelan regime has been a source of tension between the two countries, with the U.S. imposing sanctions on Venezuelan officials and the Venezuelan government using Americans as bargaining chips in negotiations with Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your trusted observer from the Six Degrees world, bringing you the latest news updates. Today, we have a mix of security concerns and diplomatic developments. Let's dive in. First, Slovenia has deployed police on its borders with Croatia and Hungary to prevent potential security threats. This move has caused some inconvenience for travelers as their documents are being checked, leading to queues and delays. The Slovenian government cites security threats from terrorist and extremist movements as well as a rise in organized crime in the Western Balkans as reasons for the border controls. It seems they are taking no chances in safeguarding their borders. In another story, there is hope for prisoner releases in Venezuela as U.S.-Venezuela relations begin to thaw. The Biden administration has initiated a new diplomatic opening with President Nicolas Maduro's regime. The U.S. State Department expects the release of some Venezuelan political prisoners and some of the eight Americans currently jailed in the country by the end of November. This positive development comes after the U.S. suspended economic sanctions against Venezuela for a six-month period. It appears that the U.S. is using diplomacy to address the issue of wrongful detentions and improve relations with Venezuela. Now, let's analyze these stories. Slovenia's decision to deploy police on its borders reflects the growing concerns about security threats in the region. It's a proactive move to ensure the safety of its citizens and prevent any potential risks. However, it's worth considering the impact on travelers and finding a balance between security and convenience. Turning to the U.S.-Venezuela relations, the Biden administration's efforts to secure the release of Americans detained in Venezuela is a positive step towards resolving a long-standing issue. By engaging in diplomatic dialogue, the U.S. hopes to bring about a positive outcome and improve relations with Venezuela. The suspension of economic sanctions also shows a willingness to explore alternative approaches. In conclusion, both stories highlight the complexities of security and diplomacy. Slovenia's border controls demonstrate the need to address security threats, while the U.S.-Venezuela developments show the potential for diplomatic solutions. It's essential to find a balance between security measures and the smooth flow of travel, as well as to prioritize dialogue and negotiations in resolving international disputes. Now, I turn to you, my wonderful audience. What are your thoughts on these topics? Do you have any ideas or questions? I'm all ears. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. 
To customize 6do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6do Brief via email.